What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio One Expert, and today we're gonna to be having a look at the integration between Notion 6 and Studio One version 3.3. Okay, so I've got a song open here in Studio One, and it's just a very basic song. It actually came from one of the demo scores from Notion. And what I've done here is I've loaded up some instances of contact. So you can see here on this track, I've got violin, I've got another track over here with violin. Here I've got some viola loaded and here I've got some cello loaded. So there's a different instance of contact for each one of these tracks here. Let's go ahead and just play it really quickly from the top. Okay, so you get the idea here. Basic score. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at the integration on how to get this sent over from Studio One over to Notion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to toggle over to Notion here. Now, first off, before we go any further, one thing that you have to make sure is you've gotta go into preferences here and you wanna make sure a couple things are enabled. So the first thing that we need to make sure is enabled is allow network discovery. So this will allow Studio One to talk to Notion, be able to find Notion. And the other thing is a note about rewire. It's either using network discovery or rewire. And if you engage rewire, you'd have to restart Notion. Okay, so now that we've covered that, let's just hop over back into Studio One for a second. And how do we get our tracks or our note events sent over from Studio One into Notion? That's pretty simple. We're gonna go to the song menu and we're gonna send to Notion. So we've got a couple different options that come up here. Because we can use a network, we could send actually to a different system. In my case, I'm just using the same computer, so I'll leave this set to this computer. And then we've got send note data of the entire song or selected tracks, or we can also send an audio mix down. Now I'm gonna use the entire song because all of my song here is made up of instrumentation with note data. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this over to Notion. You can see that it's loading plugins. It's loaded those four instances of contact. So now if I zoom this in and let's go back to the top here, any one of these tracks, sorry, any one of these measures that I select where you see this little yellow block here, I can either hold down Command I or I can go to the tools menu. I can open up the plugin interface and we can open up the actual instance of contact for that particular track. So you can see here, I have cello solo. Let's select the viola here. I'm gonna just wait till I have that little yellow block. This time I'm gonna use my keyboard shortcut, Command I or Control I on a PC. Now I'm looking at my viola. So all these different instances of contact can be opened simply by opening up the contact window, the plugin with that Command I or Control I shortcut. Okay, so we'll go back to the top and let's have a listen to this. Okay, so you can see everything came across and our third party VSTIs came across too, which is really nice. I'm gonna close this for a second here. So let's go file, close, and let's hop into another Studio One song, which is gonna be this one over here. And in this particular track, I don't have any VSTs loaded. So I don't have anything, I don't have any presence XT instruments loaded or contacts or anything for that matter. And there's an interesting thing that happens here when you're sending over note data or MIDI events, however you want to call them. Notion will actually open up, based on the track name, Notion will actually open up its own sound. So if you can see here, I have electric piano, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, all these different tracks here with these different instrumentation. So let's have a look at sending this to Notion. Same thing, going to send to Notion. And we're going to send the note data of the entire song to this computer. We'll go ahead and send that. And let's go ahead and open this up. We'll go back to the top and let's play. Okay, so as you can see, even though we didn't have any VSTs loaded, just based upon the track name, and you have to follow a specific track naming structure, that Notion is gonna automatically load its own core sounds for the tracks that you've sent over from Studio One. Okay, so now let's look at one more type of workflow here. And this would be sending audio stems as opposed to note data back into Studio One. So what I'm gonna do is from the Notion menu, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna head over to File, and we're gonna to send to Studio One. 
go ahead and do that. And then we get similar options here. So again, I'm gonna choose this computer, but this time instead of sending notes, which would basically do the exact same thing as what you see open in Studio One right now, instead of sending notes, I'm gonna send audio. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so it says transfer complete. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. Go back into Studio One. And now you can see here, I've got all of this information here, all of these tracks came in. So this is the actual stems from the Notion project. And if I open up my tempo over here, you can see that it retained the same tempo that we had in Notion. So if I go to the very top here, start it off 120 over here, go back into Studio One, close our tempo track, and we'll play from here. Okay, so this would be useful for if you've done your work in Notion, you've got your score and everything, and you're essentially ready to take it to the studio and you wanna record you know, real instrumentation over top of your score, but you wanna have bed tracks that you can use and you also wanna have some tempo information, then you can use the export audio function, which as we see, will open up a Studio One session and it's gonna give us actual audio that we can bring into a session and we're essentially ready to record. So that's the basics of what we're seeing right now with the basic Notion 6 integration with Studio One as of version 3.3. Anyways, I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.